Hi, I'm Jo San. I'm the Community Mobiliser for Port and Gate in Brooklyn. In this film, we're going to explore how the people in the expansion areas have been settling into their new homes. We'll also take a look at the work that's been happening to support residents to become more actively involved in their new community. Hannah is a local resident who we met about 18 months ago at a Mums and Tots group at Brooklyn's Farm School. With support from me, Hannah's become a key volunteer in her community. She's been involved with running so many new activities. Here Hannah explains some of the projects she has been involved with. I recently organised a big lunch for the street that I live in and met lots of new people. So from that we've then organised a local residence group, uh, a running club and have a number of parties going on throughout the year for kids and families. With a grant from the New Communities Fund, Hannah has been able to run activities to bring the community together. What effect has being a volunteer had on her? It has made a huge difference to me getting involved with the community. This is somewhere that I want to stay for a long time and my children are going to grow up. I've made lifelong friends and know that my children are in that safe environment and it's a lovely place to live. And the difference it's made to my whole family and neighbours and people say, it's just, you can't put it in words, it's just an amazing sense of belonging. Another resident who we've been working with is Claire. Claire met me a year or so ago. Like Hannah, Claire has moved away from her existing support networks and wanted to get more involved in her community. I think when you first move to a new town or city, it's really important to have a network around you. So I think the most important thing would be to have a, a good, friendly face that you can speak to. I think it's really helpful to have a point where people can go to just for a chat whether it's somewhere like the Pavilion, which wasn't here when I first started, whether it's a school, whether it's a friendly face like Jason, I think that's really important. Claire decided to take a more active role in her community and came to a Meet the Parish Councillor workshop at Community Action MK. She then went on to become a parish councillor and now represents her community to help give them a say in local issues. I get approached by, the, by a lot of the residents and the things that come up time and time again are GP services, they are the pavilion and they are schools. For Claire, volunteering has allowed her to feel more part of a community. We moved from a little town, a little village in Essex. I knew every other person in, that we went past and I feel, get the same feeling. Although I'm on the edge of a city, I feel like I'm in a little village. My, we get people knocking at the door asking for my children to go out to play, asking to come round. I can phone up most people on the street and ask them for some help, whether it's taking my kids to school, looking after the cat while we're away for a weekend. That type of feeling is something that I think is amazing, especially as part of a big city like Milton Keynes. Volunteering is a vital first step in getting people more involved in their community. It gives people the confidence and skills to run their own activities and get involved in decisions which affect them. In 2015, we're planning to pilot a volunteer training programme which will support more residents to develop their skills and experiences in community work. We hope to develop a volunteer army who can run activities and services as our communities grow. We have already begun this work, having delivered training to 12 community champions and 7 community arrivals workers. If successful, this model will be rolled out to the other expansion areas. We also continue to work in partnership with local agencies and groups to deliver services communities are asking for. We collect dialogues to find out about residents' issues and ideas, which we then record on a mobile phone app. This information, along with the dialogues collected from our arrivals door knocking programme, can then be used to help shape services in the area and to make sure we are responding to local need. An example of this is our Community Olympics Day, run in partnership with a local youth worker. Residents asked us for more activities for the whole community, so together we ran a day of sport for the whole area to enjoy. Josan and I have um, set up um, a Family Olympics Day for the community um, to bring the whole community together uh, and build new friendships and happy memories for families within the community. The, the community is very new and there are lots of people who are very new to the area of come to Milton Keynes from outside of the area. Um, so for me that the key things are is to get people to feel 
they belong to this community, to build new friendships, uh, to have a good community spirit, a good community cohesion. Partnership working is key, um, that between different agencies we can pull resources uh, to greater meet the needs of, of the local community and the wider community. We also continue to work in partnership with Ruth Maxey, the Community Minister for the East. It's been great to have Jo San here um, as someone who I can work with. On a practical level we can support each other's initiatives. We have slightly different networks within the community which again is really useful because my networks can feed into her work and her networks can feed into my work. So I think it's all positive really. Ruth has also been accessing the new communities fund as a way to run activities. It's great that there is money available um, to help begin to support the many community initiatives that are really beginning to happen in this area. My sense is that there is a growing sense of community and that there are a growing number of things that are happening. To date the Eastern Expansion Area has been the only area under development but now things are starting to pick up over in Tattano Park and the West. We are expanding our programme to these areas as residents move in and we'll look at ways to develop new ways to engage residents. Although the communities will be different, we will continue to work with residents and make sure that they are supported to take an active role in their new community.